A press conference for Soviet and foreign journalists was held in Moscow on January the 18th in connection with a statement by General Secretary of the CPSU Central Committee, Mikhail Gorbachev, on the Soviet program for the complete elimination of nuclear weapons in the world by the year 2000. Leonid Zamyatin, head of the International Information Department of the Soviet Communist Party Central Committee, opened the press conference. Allow me to begin this press conference today. The panelists are Georgi Kornienko, first deputy minister of foreign affairs of the USSR, Marshal Sergei Akramey, first deputy minister of defense and chief of general staff of the armed forces of the USSR, Marshal Sovietsko Soyuz Sergei Fyodorovich Akramey. Leonid Zamyatin, Head of the International Information Department of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. I shall begin this press conference with a statement I was instructed to make. In his statement, Mikhail Gorbachev, General Secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, presented a concrete and detailed plan of meaningful actions to remove the most formidable threat looming over mankind today, the threat of nuclear war. The cornerstone of the Soviet Union's new large-scale peace plan is a program for the complete elimination of nuclear weapons in the world during the next 15 years. The Soviet Union proposed carrying out and completing the process of ridding the Earth of nuclear weapons until the end of the century. The Soviet program envisages a stage-by-stage -stage reduction of nuclear arms, both delivery vehicles and warheads and their complete elimination under effective international control and with a ban on the development, testing and deployment of space strike weapons. The concrete proposals spelled out in the General Secretary's statement open up realistic opportunities for bringing about a radical change for the better in the international arena. The Soviet initiative has clear objectives and targets, suggests specific time limits for the achievement of agreements and their enactment and is capable of making negotiations on these problems meaningful and constructive. The Soviet proposals on the complete elimination of nuclear arms are addressed above all to the United States. It is the Soviet Union and the United States that must, at the first stage, set an example for other nuclear powers and at that stage already cut by half within a period of five to eight years, their nuclear arms capable of reaching each other's territory. The Soviet Union and the United States also should eliminate medium-range missiles in Europe as a first step towards ridding the European continent of nuclear weapons and halt all nuclear explosions. This initiative by the Soviet leadership fully accords with the Geneva Agreement between Mikhail Gorbachev and Ronald Reagan. At the same time, the Soviet proposals envisage involvement in this process at subsequent stages of all the other nuclear powers because this is a problem of universal significance and it should be tackled and could only be solved by cooperative efforts. A ban on the de deployment of strike weapons in space is the only legitimate precondition for the elimination of nuclear weapons. The 
To prevent an arms race in space means to clear the way for deep cuts in nuclear arms. Peaceful space, not Star Wars, is the only realistic way to make nuclear weapons redundant and eventually eliminate them altogether. An overall ban on modernization of nuclear weapons, on the possibility of developing ever more sophisticated and lethal types of these weapons, is an inextricable element of the nuclear arms reduction and elimination process. Guided by this view and demonstrating its goodwill, the Soviet Union decided to extend for three months the term of the unilateral moratorium on all nuclear explosions, which it announced in August 1985. The Soviet Union is again urging the United States to join this major and constructive initiative. The program for nuclear disarmament also provides for a ban on the development of non-nuclear weapons which are based on new physical principles and have the destructive potential close to that of the weapons of mass destruction. The Soviet Union proposes that all chemical weapons should be destroyed within the next few years. All stockpiles of chemical weapons should be destroyed and the industrial base for the production of these weapons should be eliminated as soon as possible under effective control, including international on-site inspection. We propose setting in motion the entire system of negotiations to carry out the program for reducing and eliminating nuclear arms, preventing an arms race in space, banning chemical weapons, cutting down troops and conventional armaments and strengthening confidence-building measures. These are the negotiations in Geneva, Vienna and Stockholm. Mikhail Gorbachev's statement was met with broad public support throughout the world. It also aroused considerable interest in political circles and among statesmen of many countries. The position held by the Communist Party of the Soviet Union and the Soviet government is enthusiastically supported by Soviet people. Mikhail Gorbachev's statement is a timely and sweeping document. It serves to show that only a state which is determined to prevent nuclear war could work out and put forward such radical proposals on the complete elimination of nuclear weapons. This policy results from our social system, our moral principles and our ideology. Our party is advancing towards its 27th Congress, firmly holding the initiative for preserving world peace in its hands. The Soviet Union expects that the latest and far-reaching Soviet initiatives will be duly appreciated abroad, especially by the leading circles of the United States of America and other Western powers. A positive response by the West to the Soviet proposals could finally help to break the deadlock over the most pressing and urgent problem of our time, removal of the threat of nuclear war.